Hi folks, we've got another Clean Water Systems instructional video for you today. Uh, we're going to review the steps required for maintaining your 5900 BT neutralizer system. So a couple of things to remember. Um, basically, after your filter here, you want to test your pH before and after the filter. You always want to maintain at least 7 pH after your filter. Um, if your filter drops below that, a couple of things may be happening. One is, is you may get below your halfway mark on your tank with your media and you want to fill it back to two-thirds. Um, I've gone ahead and marked our tank so uh, you basically can hold a flashlight behind it uh, and see the media level in there. So you normally want to check that once, once to two times a year. Uh, you'll need to fill it depending on your use. Um, and I go ahead and leave those marks on there just so I can see it. Again, very important not to go over two-thirds full with your media during your backwash. You can actually blow some of the calcite back into the valve and you'll start having valve leakage problems. So we'll start by taking the uh, pH pre and post the filter. So if your pH drops below 7, first thing you want to do is check that level there and uh, make sure your levels are correct. So again for the neutralizing the uh, pH, uh, basically, if you're somewhere in the 6 range, a pH 6 to 6.9, you can use a calcite um, media. Um, if you're below that, you add what's called Corosex. And our recommendation is a 90%, 10% blend of that. Um, if your pH is even lower, you can go 80, 20, or even 70, 30. Um, so basically what you want to do first is do your inlet and outlet uh, of your water samples and find out what your pH, pH actually is.